All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the font on the text in a photo uh, in your iPhone on iOS 15. First, let's open up our Photos app. Let's go to a photo. I'm gonna pick this one right here of my friend Paul. It's a live photo, as you can see. You can only do markup on live photo or long exposure. And what I mean by that is you see that drop down. If you have a loop or a bounce, that's a video and it will not uh, allow you to put text on a video and it won't allow you to put text on a loop or a bounce uh, live photo. So you gotta have a live or, or long exposure. We're gonna leave it live. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit edit. It's gonna come to the markup. We're gonna hit the markup icon, which is a uh, pen inside of a circle in the right-hand corner of your phone. Click that. And uh, it's gonna ask you to turn off the live photo. So it's gonna use uh, the key photo that the, um, that the AI for the phone picks as the frame that they wanna use. Uh, you can change that, but I made another video on that. It's called uh, Make Keyframe. You can check it out. Let's go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now we're in there. You can see it says Markup up here. Down here, we got this little um, window that opens up with all these little pens and rulers in it and, uh, and a color wheel. But what we wanna do is hit these plus box here. Bam. And then we're going to go to the text box here. Bam. And the text box comes in. And then what I want to do is come over here to these double A's. That's really the text um, edit area. And then you're going to click that. And then it gives you the opportunity to expand it like this. And then you can justify it left, center, right, or you can make it all even if you're going to have a lot of text on here. Now, they only give you three different types of text that you can use. Helvetia, Georgia, noteworthy. So it's up to you to decide which one you want to use, but you only get those three. It's not, you know, this isn't super, <laughs> isn't what I would call, uh, su you know, it doesn't have a lot of choices. But, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can do that. And if you if you decide you want to do noteworthy, you know, you leave it like that. And then you can click here and then you can double tap inside and it gives you your, it gives you your, um, uh, basically your keyboard, which you can do, you know, all your edits on. So let's say I just want to put my name in there. So I just put Tom in there. And um, and then if I'm cool with that, I just touch anywhere outside of this box on the field, and that's my name. Now, if I don't like that, what I could do is I could tap it once, and then I could tap it twice. And usually it'll give you this color uh, wheel down here where you can change the color. And let's say if I wanted to make it yellow. I can make it yellow, I can make it green, I can make it blue, you know, whatever you want to do. It's a little extra things that you can do on it. If you want to move it around, you put your finger on it and you can do this. And um, and that's basically how it works. If you, want to, if you want to create your own color, you can pull up this chart here and, you know, you can figure out a color that you want to put down in the bottom. Let's say you want it purple, all right? And so we click there, bam, it turns purple and it and it should show purple in this little window here so you can see it. And if you didn't like that and you want to go back to your other color, you could. All right, so that's how you do it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use the iPhone markup app in putting text on a photo in iPhone in iOS 15. Peace out.